This one particularly was challenging because, look, it's about uh, two priests that go on an adventure in 17th uh, century Japan, not uh, your everyday movie. Uh, but it really makes you feel, I know when my wife saw it for the first time, she cried. So it's very moving and very, very uh, challenging. And uh, I think it's a very, very worthwhile movie to see uh, because you're moved by it. The movie is uh, very timely, oh, yet it's set in the 17th century uh, because it's about commitment. It's about believing in things and, and what it costs you when you believe in uh, certain aspects of your life. Uh, it deals with the religious commitment. So it has a lot of different facets of, uh, that we deal with today in everyday life. I think uh, getting uh, uh, the people out there on location in very difficult circumstances and get them, in spite of those circumstances, to really have to uh, really own the character. So really that they could, uh, uh, under very, very extreme circumstances, act and really feel the character in spite of what typhoons or storms or you know intense heat so they're able to stay with what they were doing and that was challenging it's um, an unbelievable thing that i i, I can't quite uh, process how it happened or that that, that it happened uh, i'm just i was i'm just really filled with, with gratitude tonight that i that i that i get to be here with with these incredible artists and pr present this incredible film and He's been wanting to make it for so long, and the fact that he, tr he entrusted it to me, this role to me, was, um, I don't know, kind of overwhelming, and I think he's a fool, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that he was so foolish in his, uh, in his decision. On paper and on the screen, it does look very tricky, it looked, it, and, it, and it was. I'm not saying it wasn't, it really was. It was, it was massively challenging in ways that I can't really comprehend, but, but, but ultimately... The feeling underneath all that is, again, just this supreme gratitude that I even got a chance to try. It, it was remarkable to see, you know, Marty walking up these incredibly difficult locations, trying to crack this incredibly complicated material and bring, bring the audience um, a story so complicated thematically, so multifaceted, that um, we don't often get to see these kinds of films in our cineplexes so it's a real testament to him and you know I think we're all grateful for his existence in the world and the fact that he's brought us so many incredible movies and this is another. The themes are fascinating to me and um, they feel very vital and urgent for the times we're in um, in terms of how do different ideologies coexist without violence is that even a possibility for the human race? It, it, what does it mean to live a life of true faith? Um, does the internal life of faith have to match up with external showings? Does religious dogma equal um, a true life of faith? Or um, are you able to portray the dogma in order to, to serve God fully and truly? These are all questions bigger than any film can answer, but to pose them and attempt to begin to scratch the surface felt like a very, uh, it felt like a blessing to be able to do. Mm. うん。神の沈黙ってのは何なのか。神はそもそも沈黙の前に喋ったのか。あるいは神は常に沈黙しているのか。それをこの映画から学ぼうとして、ま、沈黙と言っても常に見守ってそばにいたんだよという。でもな
ロドリゲスに非常に同情するでも彼を罰さなければならないというすごい葛藤はあったと思いますそれが一番の葛藤。Uh, the biggest conflict this character has is that、uh, on the one hand, he does feel sympathetic to Rodriguez, a character acted by Andrew Garfield. At the same time, he,、uh, he has a job to persecute Christians. So that's the biggest conflict. Good, good, excellent. One more, come on. <laughs> 自分が元気になって、多分自分以上の力を出せたと思う、監督さんによって。He's so wonderful because he's so encouraging. He never says no. It's always a lot of compliments. Yes, perfect, great. One more time. So it's quite invigorating, and he feels like Marty really brought 120% of what he could do. The whole question of faith, you know, as you get older, you question it. Do you believe in it? Will you, what will you do to hold on to your faith? So I think, yeah, I relate it on every level, and I think that's what I was hoping an audience will ultimately relate to the humanity of faith and where does that take you in your own individual course. You know, whatever their individual experience in, in relation to faith, but also, you know, just an experience, a, a world that they don't know, a world that they never got to see, and a world that hopefully they'll kind of immerse themselves in and then at the end, you know, take away their own belief of whatever their relationship to faith is. But just, just transform and take them to a place that they've never seen before, you know. Four years ago, you know, I got a call to get involved, and、uh, obviously, that's the only reason I got involved because of Marty. And it was just an epic process a gentleman and collaborator. And I didn't even think that he would be that collaborative because he's so insulated with his people for so long. And it was the opposite, you know, he's just, it was amazing, every aspect. I mean, raising the money was the biggest challenge. And, and then, of course, you know, Marty and I and Emma and Erwin went to Cannes and we had to sell the foreign and we, you know, work on the budget and try to keep it in a, in a number that worked. And then Marty, you know, obviously holding on to his vision and supporting that, making sure that stayed intact. And just, just you know, the whole, the, the rights were extremely difficult. That took a year to lock down. So it was, every aspect was challenging. But, you know, I kept saying Martin Scorsese and that would just keep me refreshed. Well, it's a picture that has been、uh, gestating for a long time, and it, it has a lot to do with themes that and and、um, uh, interests of mine that go back to as far as I can remember in my childhood, and so、um, uh, I've been trying in different ways to deal with these themes in my movies as best I could.、Uh, when I read the book,、uh, it was in 1989. And I knew I wanted to make it, but I didn't really understand how to、uh, visualize it, interpret it, you know?、Um, and it took, the, I tried right away, got the rights to it. I tried.、Um, by 1991, myself and Jay Cox, my, writer, my co writer, we looked at it and left it alone. And then finally, about a period of 10 years later,、um, maybe it was a matter of.、Uh, From 1992 to 2005, when I finally, 2006, when I finally wrote the script with Jay, maybe it was just a matter of living a life and your life changing and getting older and constantly going. I found myself constantly going back to this book and this material. Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver and Liam Neeson. And Andrew、um, uh, had about a year of preparation for the picture. He underwent the、um, uh, process of the Spiritual exercises by the, of the Jesuits, 30 days, which is a very, very uh, uh, serious and uh, powerful uh, experience,、um, uh, became uh, very much involved with、uh, that subject matter. I mean, really, almost by the time he was there on, uh, uh, in Taipei,、uh, it was, they were saying, well, the next step for him is to be ordained as a priest. <laughs> But, Instead, he got me, but it did. <laughs> the characters had to lose weight,、um, and we had a nutritionist with us. And Adam, I think, lost 51 pounds, and Andrew, 48. And there, there was a very, very, it was a great ordeal for the two of them. The 73 day shooting was, was remarkable what they went through, it, it, physically and I must say, emotionally. We had a wonderful Japanese cast, Issei Ogata, and 
uh, Tatanabo Asano, a wonderful um, filmmaker named uh, Shinya Tsukamoto, uh, uh, Yotsuke Kubutsuko, uh, who plays Kichijiro. I mean, these, these are people who came, extraordinary actors in Japan, but they came on audition. And we cast most of them in 2009. And I really thought we were going to make the film in 2010, but then that fell through again. And we kept going around the world, at different places, to see what it would, you know, what, what would play for Japan uh, and what would be the best deal. I just think we have to address that part of what it is, uh, what it is to be a human being that yearns for the spiritual, and not to throw it out because of its connotations with uh, maybe organized religions that have behaved badly. You know, not to throw that out, but not to throw it out with that but to go back to the core of it and try to understand, not understand, but live it and accept it. And uh, it is very, very much a part of being human.